Hey guys and welcome, my name's Rob and today I'm doing a little review for you guys, uh, a little tool review on this one man bleeder kit. Now if you didn't see my video um, of me installing the brakes on my Eclipse over here, um, go check that out, it was a good video, uh, I had a lot of fun, but this is what I used to do it. Now, um, there's a few things I'd like to say specifically about the kit and then also about the technique that was used to do it. Um, so here we go. So, I guess first and foremost, this is the kit, and this is what you get in the kit over here. You've got your um, your bottle, little magnet, piece of hose, a few pieces of hose actually. Um, this little guy, and then two of these black um, little pieces here. So. Uh, but basically, um, the the kit sounded good, and I really didn't understand what was in it until I got it. So we're just gonna pull it all apart and take a look at what it is, and um, yeah, what I like it. So first of all, it's just a small plastic bottle, nothing special about that. In fact, they didn't even use uh, the right paint, so that way the brake fluid wouldn't take the paint off of it. So here's what it is. Now I did buy this kit at AutoZone. Um, I'm sure you can find it other places, but it was just a cheap kit and it sounded like a good idea as to bleeding the brakes so you know we went with it um, so and then attached to the bottle right it's just a another piece it just fell off there another piece of rubber tubing um, and that's more or less just a 90 degree vacuum you know vacuum line or plastic uh, cup layer or whatever you want to call it there and that's that's that so um, and then these pieces here, which go into the end of the bleeder screw. Um, so the tube goes onto this end. And then that literally goes into the opening of the bleeder screw. Um, and we had a little, little issue with that. But look, basically the kit itself um, is kind of cheap. It's kind of silly to have. Uh, and one of the things that I contest is that I could have very easily made this kit myself. Um, with less parts and it would have worked exactly the same so um, instead of this you know tiny little bottle we should have grabbed a regular water bottle um, put a hole through the cap and ran instead of having a T piece like this just ran the tube just straight down to the bottom of the bottle um, and then make sure the tube end is big enough to go over the bleeder screw and you eliminate this piece as well that's that's it um, now this did have a magnet on it which super fancy there it just kinda went into the back of the cap like that, not that fancy. Um, you could get little magnets like this from the store if you'd like, or um, just use a couple zip ties to tie up the water bottle <laughs> in the different locations. But seriously, it wasn't really worth buying the kit. Um, however, the technique that this uses, where um, the bleeder is open on the caliper that you're using, this bottle um, is magnetized just like that to your fender well or I did it on the strut and on some brackets and small stuff like that that was hanging around there but it just had to be above and then you're slowly pushing the pedal from the from the driver's seat with the bleeder fully open there's no pumping it up and then opening it and letting it shoot on none of that um, and it did it would let the air bubbles you know rise up to the top go into the bottle here um, the bottle is a little small so in some of the places where I flushed out fluid I had to empty it two or three times which was kind of Annoying, I would have used a bigger water bottle had I done the kit myself. Um, but then, yeah, I just closed it off and, and just went around, did the whole car um, using this. And that was really, um, really, really good way of bleeding brake system. I'd never done it before, never never thought of doing it that way before. And the pedal feels great. Um, I love the result that I got from it, so there's that. But the kit itself, you, I could have made this with maybe a, a dollar or two worth of, of little tubing and leftovers laying around the house, you know what I mean? Um, now the tubing is supposed to come in two shorter pieces like this and one longer piece. So I cut this down because I thought the kit could be used to bleed the master cylinder and when I found out I couldn't I just cut the long hose in half so I could use it for <laughs> uh, bleeding out the brake master cylinder. So that was that was kind of silly but because um, I, I didn't that's why that's there. 
But now this kit doesn't actually have any hookups for the, the master cylinder, so I did end up having to go and getting a couple brass barbs like this. Um, I posted a video pretty soon here of actually the actual bleeding of the master cylinder for the clutch, and um, you know just the, the bench bleeding for that, so stay tuned for that video. Um, but yeah, I had to do that, and then I cut this tube in half instead of using the little coupler thing, and then I used... That's what I use to bleed out the, the brake master cylinder. But the kit itself, not worth buying. It's get a piece of rubber tube, um, clear tubing, um, a, a water bottle, and you know a magnet, some glue maybe. Pretty simple kit. The, the, the kit was pointless to buy. Oh, and the one thing about this kit that you would avoid had I made it myself. Um, is this little plastic piece here. Now this is, they came with two and I was wondering why because I broke one off inside the bleeder and that little piece of plastic, just that tiny little nub there in the end was stuck inside the bleeder and I ended up having to use a small drill bit to drill the plastic out. And that was lovely. Um, anyway, so yeah, that's, that's really the one man bleeder kit. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and stay tuned for more like it.